Good morning, kids. Good morning, everybody. Time for another children's Bible class. I'm so excited to learn some more about Jacob and his children. It's going to be a great Bible class. All right. But first, we're going to do some singing. Okay. All right. Are you ready? So the first song we're going to do is Jesus Loves the Little Children. And we haven't practiced this one for a while with all the hand motions. So, let's go ahead and start. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. All right, let's do a little faster. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Excellent job. Right. Fantastic job remembering all those. Okay, next song we're going to do is He's Got the Whole World. Are you ready? In his hand. Where? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hand. He's got... Who does he have? Who does he have? You and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the itty bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the itty bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the itty bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Yay! Right. Thank you, Butterbean, for joining us. Right. Okay, the next song we're going to do is This Little Light of Mine. Okay. So where is your light? In fact, we've got lights. All right, this. little candles. Little candles. This little light, light of, of mine, mine. I'm going to let it shine. shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan fuck it up. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan fuck it up. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan fuck it up. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All around Nicholasville, I'm gonna let it shine. All around Nicholasville, I'm gonna let it shine. All around Nicholasville, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Wonderful job with your lights. All right, very good. Now another fun song we haven't done in a while is the Hippo song. Oh, yes. Do you remember while. that one? Oh boy, so I think right. we need to do this one. Slow, then maybe fast. Yeah, let me get faster, that's right. Okay, you ready? In, In the, the beginning, beginning God, God made the sea, and the forest filled with trees, and the mountains up so high, and at the top he placed the sky. 
Fingerprints are everywhere Just to show how much he cares In the middle he had some fun He made a hippo that weighs a ton Hip 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 hippopotamus Hip hip hooray God made all of us Hip 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 hippopotamus Hip hip hooray God made all of us Very good! Okay, you think you can go a little bit faster? Okay. Speed it up a little? Alright. Okay, here we go. In, in the beginning, beginning I made the seas, and the forest filled with trees, and the mountains up so high. At the top he placed the sky, fingerprints are everywhere, just to show how much he cares. In the middle he had some fun, made a hip of the way to sun. Hip 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 hippopotamus, hip hip hooray got made all of us. Hip 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 hippopotamus, hip hip hooray got made all of us. Wow! Oh boy, I'm a little out of breath, but I think we could maybe do it. Ultra fast. Okay. Faster than fast. All right. Are you ready? All you right. Think you can? I think I can. Oh boy. Okay. Fast. In the beginning, the seas and the forest, the trees and the mountains up so high, and the dummy place, scabbing your friends are everywhere. Just show much care in the middle. We had some fun. Made it in the way to touch him. It was a bad mess. 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 Now, I think the only other song, maybe, that we should do is... Walls of Jericho. Walls of Jericho. All he right. remembered. Okay. So, what do we got to put on? Put on our marching, marching boots. boots. And get your arms ready to... Marching around the Jericho walls. Jericho walls. Jericho walls. Marching around the Jericho walls. Early in the morning. This is the way we blow our horns, blow our horns, blow our horns. This is the way we blow our horns early in the morning. This is the way we march real quiet, march real quiet, march real quiet. This is the way we march real quiet early in the morning. This is the way we shout real loud, shout real loud, shout real loud. This is the way we shout real loud early in the morning. This is the way the walls fall down, walls fall down, walls fall down. This is the way the walls fall down early in the morning. Very good. We broke the walls down. Very good job. Okay, now we're going to listen to Miss April while she teaches us a story. Say bye, buddy me. Good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing great. And I hope that you all have had a good week and you're looking forward to having another wonderful week. So this morning we're going to learn about Jacob and his 12 sons. And so last week we learned about Jacob moving and living with his uncle Laban and how he married two sisters, Leah and Rachel. So this morning, we're gonna learn about his 12 sons. All right, so this morning, our lesson is gonna come from Genesis. Now remember, Genesis is the first book in the Old Testament. Now there are 39 books in the Old Testament, okay? So remember last week, we learned about Jacob so see Jacob. And we learned that he went to live with his uncle Laban and he fell in love and he got married to Leah and Rachel. Now, God blessed Jacob with lots of children. In fact, he had 12 sons. And we know he had some daughters, but I don't know their names. So this morning we're going to review the names of the 12 sons of Jacob. All right, so some of these names might be a little hard to say, but that's okay, just keep trying and eventually you'll get the hang of it because some of them are even a little, you know, a little difficult for me. So here's what I did. I used some cups and I wrote the 12 sons name on the cup, each cup. So then we have Reuben and Simeon. And then next we have, got three here. 
Levi, Judah, and Dan. Okay, three more. Nap, Tali, Gad, and Asher. And then we have Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. Now, next time, we're going to learn a little something about Joseph. And I think you're going to enjoy that one. Okay, so let's go back over the names once again. Are you all ready? All right, you all ready to go back over the, the names again? Let's try it one more time. All right, so we have... Reuben and Simeon, and then we have Levi, Judah, and Dan, and then we have Naphtali, Gad, and Asher, and then we have Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. So, these are the 12 sons of Jacob. Now, we also know that God changed Jacob's name to Israel. And then later on, we're going to learn how each, these have become the children of Israel. Well, they are the children of Israel. And how each one of these 12 sons, their names end up becoming something called the 12 tribes of Israel. And we'll learn about that later on as well. But for now, we know that the 12 sons were Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. So keep practicing and eventually you will learn the 12 sons of Joseph. All right, so we know that God blessed Joseph, or Jacob, I'm sorry, with 12 sons. Now, Jacob listened to God, and he obeyed God. And if we listen and obey God too, he's going to bless us as well. So kind of start thinking, this month, because it's November, and we have a holiday coming up called Thanksgiving. So start thinking about some of the ways that God has blessed you in your life right now. Um, I know that I have been blessed with my parents and my sister and my family that I have. And so think about some of the things that you have been blessed with as well. Because God blessed Jacob with 12 sons and daughters. So he blessed him. And this was all part of him keeping his promise to Abraham that his children would become a great nation. Because we all know that these are Abraham's great great, these are his great grandchildren. I had to think about that for a minute. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I hope you all have a good week. And I kind of hope you've enjoyed our lesson. And remember, next week we're going to learn something fun about Joseph. All right. I'll see you all later. Bye. All right. You all ready to do a fun little craft about uh, Jacob's 12 sons? So the first thing you can do is you can use Star Fun Cups like I did. And so what I did was I got a cup. And I got a marker. And I wrote the name, one of the names, on my cup. And I wrote it here on this part of the cup. But you could write it anywhere on the cup you wanted to because you could play a game with it. Now, the reason that I wrote it here on the lip is because that way you could stack them. You could take them off and play a game. You could take one out and go, which one's missing? So the other thing that you could do is get toilet paper rolls. So I've got 12 toilet paper rolls. Now I've been saving these for a while. So I've got my rolls. All right. 
So what you can do with your rolls is you can take them and we can draw faces on them. So draw a little face and then you can just write one of the 12 sons, one of the names. So let's write, so the first son was Reuben. So then you got Reuben, and then you could use another color of marker or crayon to draw to do your take care of your next one. This is going to be Simeon. All right, so there's my second one. And then I'm just going to get another marker. So I got me a red marker this time. And I'm going to draw a little face on here. And this one's going to be Levi. So there's Levi. And then I'll just use this red one because I got it open. You can draw your faces however you want. I'm just drawing eyes, nose, and a mouth. And writing my names on here. And then there's the next one. And then you can do this until you have all 12 written on a toilet paper roll. I hope you all have fun with this little eye crafty ideal. And I will see you all later. Bye, guys. We are about to have another baking day. Are you excited? Now we are going to make a special kind of cookie. White chocolate chip pumpkin. So this will be perfect for Thanksgiving coming up. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to take two and a fourth cups of flour and we're gonna go ahead and dump them right in this bowl. Two and a fourth cups. Next, we need pumpkin pie spice. So if you don't have this at your house already, you can make it using cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, and ginger. So we're gonna put one teaspoon right in with the flour. Next, we need half a teaspoon of baking soda. Are you ready? So we're gonna scoop out, I have a fourth here, so we're gonna scoop out one and two. Okay, next we're gonna do the wet ingredients. All right, kiddos, so the next step is we're gonna take two sticks of butter and we're gonna put it into our mixing bowl. One and two. And then we're going to add a cup and a half of brown sugar, okay? So here I've got it and you pack it in there really tight. Whoop, and then it goes right in there and whoop. So we'll mix those two together. And then the next step is that we're gonna put in one cup of our pumpkin. So this pumpkin puree, okay? All right, come back in just a minute. Okay, kids, next we're gonna put in two eggs. One. And two. And then we need vanilla. So we're gonna put in one tablespoon of vanilla. One, this is half a tablespoon, so I'll do one and two. We'll mix that all together and then we will mix in the flour mixture that we made earlier, okay? And then we'll be ready to put our white chocolate chips in and they'll be going in the oven. Okay kiddos, so we have got our mixture. All that's left to do is bake. So you're gonna get a cookie sheet and you're gonna do scoops of your cookie batter, roll it up, put them on your cookie sheet, 
at 300 degrees for 20 to 22 minutes. So it's gonna be a longer baking time because your temperature of your oven is lower, but we want them to be perfect. So I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. All right, kids, here's what your pumpkin cookies look like. Now we can enjoy. I love you all so much and miss you. Have a good day.